Alright everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Let me get this focus sorted. Am I, am I focused? Am I? I think I am. Anyways, today's video is pretty unexpected to be honest. I was meant to do it yesterday, I'm doing it today. I went out to the shopping mall yesterday. I don't go to the shopping mall much. I spent eight years in Alice Springs. There is no fucking shopping mall there, or nothing to speak of anyway. There's two shopping malls and they're like, always half empty, the, the, the stores go out of business, you know, it's, it's, it's that kind of shopping mall, you know what I mean? It's pretty shit. Anyways, uh, I went to a half decent one here in Cairns yesterday, and uh, I went to three sports stores looking for track spikes, my first pair of actual track shoes, because there's a track here in Cairns, I've wanted to run on a track for freaking years, like literally years guys. I mean, at least, the, at least the past five years, I've thought on a, a weekly basis, let me put it into layman's terms, on a weekly basis, every single week for the last six years, I'm going to say, I have wished that I've lived somewhere with a track so I could go down and not only make YouTube content, but freaking work on my speed, man, work on myself as an athlete. I have thought that every single fucking week. And so finally, I'm here. I've been in Cairns for four weeks. It's taken me this long to get down there. I knew it was there. I went and checked it out yesterday. It's a pretty pretty good looking facility and so today I'm going to head down uh, to, to test out the shoes but I just wanted to show you them first and foremost uh, before I do that because well there's no time like like now and uh, I actually haven't really had a look at them yet so I bought the only pair of track spikes I could find in the entire mall I went to three shops and I finally found a pair of ASICs so this is what they look like they are blue, white, and I'd call that pink or orange. That's what they look like on the bottom. And uh, looking at that, I am absolutely excited as a... Well, I won't say that, but I'm, I'm really excited, guys. What are they actually called? Hyper MD6. Essex Hyper MD6. Men's track and field. <laughs> I like that. So, I've got the, uh, the spikes in there. I went down to the field, uh, down to the, um, the track. There is actually a rugby field in the middle of it. I went down there and asked, you know, what the story was. And uh, basically said, uh, from 4 till 7 p.m. on weekdays is um, when the, the track is open to, to the public. Apart from that, you can hire the whole place for four hours at a time for $75. And, you know, that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, like, it's pretty much a whole, like... Well, it's a whole track with a rugby field on the, on the inside and a decent sized grandstand with all the lights that you need. Um, because I think that a semi-pro rugby league team plays from there and they're based in Cairns. And they play in the league, the Intrust Super Cup, which is the Queensland League that's just under the NRL, which is the National Rugby League. But anyways, we're not talking about rugby league, we're talking about bloody track spikes. And I've got some. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. So I can't wait to take them down. The next video you see will definitely be me taking those shoes down to the field. I'm going to keep saying field, aren't I? Taking those shoes down to the track and actually trying it. I'm going to take my timing gates, of course. Um, so, you know, hopefully I, I, may hit, I may hit a PB today after not sprinting for like the last two months. And, uh, you know, my legs almost feel like the Tin Man off The Wizard of Oz. They feel like they're... They feel like they're seizing up, guys. Quite a man. A man made out of tin. <laughs> My hips and stuff, I'm sitting down too much. I'm driving, sitting down. You know, I'm not exercising enough. And so, either today or tomorrow, I'm going to finally go down to the track with the shoes it's going to motivate you know usually sometimes I need to sort of make a bit of a purchase spoil myself with some gear to actually motivate me enough to get something done as far as physical activity goes whether it's getting back in the gym I might have to go out and buy a new you know set of knee sleeves to go and do leg day or I might have to go out and buy a, a new I don't know a new a new singlet or a new top to wear in the gym just to get me back in there that first day 
And you know, if that's, if that's the way it is for you, then, then fine. This is exactly what these are about. Motivating me to get down there and start working on my speed again. So thanks for being here. Um, hopefully I've got the green screen working all right. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, well, I'm working on it, put it that way. So uh, I'm kind of settled here in Cairns now. I've been here for four weeks. You may have seen my previous video talking about what's, what's been happening. I, I had my, my daughter here the other night, which was great. I've got Major Key Physiques, which is launching within two weeks. Um, behind the camera right now is a mountain of uh, Major Key Physiques products, and I cannot wait, I cannot wait for you guys to just check out the website, to be honest, because the website's going to look great. So, I can't wait to be a business owner, man. It's, it's been 12 months in the making, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about track spikes. Um, in fact, I'm going to, I may as well put them, get them ready, yeah. I was going to do this. I was going to do this uh, at the trap for a little bit of extra content, you know what I mean? But I'm going to do it now. Shouldn't be too hard, should it? When I bought them, she said, yeah, you can buy extra spikes very easily. But uh, as far as the tool to actually put them in, these are pretty hard to come by apparently. So I think she basically implied, she didn't say it, but she implied that if I ever do lose this, I'm most likely going to have to buy a new pair of shoes. <laughs> so that's great, isn't it? Anyways, here goes nothing. Threading my first track spike. He's actually, I also got told, don't put them in too tight. Not crazy tight, just firm. So. I cannot wait to feel what these feel like on the track. I'm so excited guys. I, this is the kind of thing that I just get giddy about. I, I love sport, I love sprinting, I love the Olympics, I love, <laughs> I love trying to prove to myself that I, I can do things and um, you know this is just the next thing on the list and to make great content for, for YouTube because I've always wanted to make a video with like the orange of the track in the background, you know what I mean? Or have a thumbnail, you know, down at the track doing some training. I've always wanted to do that, so hopefully in the, the coming video I will be able to do that, finally. I'm expecting a few people to possibly comment on this video telling me that these shoes are like very, very basic or very entry level or um, pretty shit just in general because they were only $99 and I was quite surprised but um, they were the only ones in the shop so I had no choice and I wouldn't, I, honestly I wouldn't have wanted to pay too much more so all I can say guys is that she's ready to go so I'm going to get the other one done and uh, I'll see you guys down at the track in my next video, I'm not sure when it will come but stay tuned to the channel if you have enjoyed this video as always hit that like button and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.